Well, good evening, everybody. It's day 51 of my carnivore diet. A um, couple of things to talk about today, tonight. Um, the first one is, as I suspected, my numbers have bounced back up from yesterday. So again, I was 95, 95 for like a week, dropped into 94 after going for the big run. And then it's back up to 95, um, pretty much the same weight I was before. So that pretty much just tells me that I had just a momentary drop in water weight and then the, the water weight's gone back up. The interesting thing though is that I have been taking my electrolytes a lot more, so I'm retaining more water. So again, I think all that's just going to balance out, um, but uh, I am firmly in a plateau. Um, I've been basically the same weight for nearly 10 days now and I'm not you know i've i've eaten a lot i've eaten less i've eaten mostly meat i've cut a lot i've cut back a lot on the chicken and the and the other stuff so i don't know anyway it is what it is um great sleep score last night slept really well got sort of seven hours um and nearly hit my steps today i didn't go to the gym because i can still barely walk from the run the other day my foot's killing me. It feels like I have a broken bone in my foot, but I don't. I've poked around at it. It's not actually broken. Um, I think I just maybe tore some tendons or something in the side of my foot. Anyway, that's that. What do I want to talk about today? So one of the things that's been on my mind is the sort of the concept of like body image. And what got me thinking about this is it was really interesting because when I sat down yesterday and I, I don't know where I was, but I just started feeling my arms and I'm like, wow, my arms are like quite skinny now. And it, it sort of brought up this thing. And I think, I think this is much more common in America than it is anywhere else in the world really. But there was always this thing when I was growing up, and I'll, I'll speak for myself. I assume in the comments some people can let me know if this is still happening, but there was always this thing, especially being male, that we had to be like the football players, and we had to be big and strong, and we had to like, you know, every time they talk about some player or something or some athlete, they talk about their height and their weight and kind of the more weight they are, the better. And I was always skinny, like super skinny. And when I was in high school, I actually had trouble putting on enough weight and I was desperate to put on more muscle and to put on more weight and, you know, to sort of fill out and to be that sort of, you know, kind of football player-ish type. I didn't really enjoy playing football. I was more of a basketball player. So I had that tall, lean build. But even still, you know, all the coaches in high school and everything were always like, no, 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 you got to lift weights. You got to be stronger. You got to get bigger. You got to put on some weight. And I always struggled with that. And I, it's odd now because for me, when I put on a little bit of weight, there's a there's like a psychological comfort factor in that. So even though I know it's not muscle weight, it doesn't matter. It's I kind of know what I weigh and that it's like it ticks a box. And if if I start getting too much below that and I start getting thin again, then I I start to have this kind of weird psychological reaction to it where it's like I want to be thin and I don't want to have a lot of excess fat. But then at the same time, it's like now that urge to be big comes back again. And then it's like some struggle in my head. And I assume that other people struggle from this same thing, you know, I can only speak from a man's perspective. I think women have totally different struggles. You know, we all have things like, you know, I'll, you know, you must have big boobs or small boobs or you must be skinny or you must have a big butt or like whatever. And, you know, men are supposed to have big shoulders and chest and skinny waists and, you know, you got to have a big dick. And like 
all this stuff that society sort of puts on us that we then use to beat ourselves up with if we don't match one of those criteria. And it's just really interesting. And I wonder, particularly with men, again, um, and and ladies, jump in on this conversation as well if you wanna if you wanna jump in on this too. But you know, I know there's a big body positivity movement now, and so you know, a lot of people who maybe were raised in a in a different environment. You know, when I was raised, it it wasn't the thing. There was no body positivity. If you were overweight, you were sloppy, and you were lazy, and you were ill disciplined, and you didn't take care of yourself unless you were an athlete and then, but then you still had to have a low percentage body fat, but you you know, as a guy, you still needed to weigh 200, 220 pounds. Well, I can weigh 220 pounds, but it's, I'm fat. (laughs) So, and, and I've never, you know, I've, I've never wanted to take any sort of, you know, steroid or anything like that to like try and bulk myself up because I never really thought it was that important, but it's like this deep seated ingrained sort of thing that's just in the back of your mind. And it just, it was really odd because it crept up on me when I felt my arm and I was like, Oh, okay. Like I need to do some more. Like I need to really get in the gym because before when I had a little bit more weight on, my arms felt a little bit bigger. And then that made me feel better about myself, even though I knew somewhere that it wasn't muscle. That didn't really matter. I hope I'm I'm sure I'm not the only person that suffers from this same thing. So it's almost when, when I start to get too far and I start losing too much, then I start to worry that I'm just going to look skinny and that that's not going to be attractive either. But I don't know what would be. And I think that's just me in my own head. And I'm my own worst enemy. And I think most of us are probably our own worst enemies. If we could just get out of our own way, we'd we'd probably all be better. But it's really difficult. And um, yeah, so that's been on my mind a lot. And I need to get through that. And yeah. It's I'm I'm in my mid fifties. It's my birthday this week. I'm I'm going to be you know sort of mid fifties. I don't want to say specifically because I think it's weird to put your birthday sort of out on the internet. So I'll just say it's this week. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's that's what's on my mind tonight. The other thing is, um, let me just look. I watched a show. So I'm going to change the topic now, or maybe I should do the other one tomorrow and just keep this at a single topic. Maybe that's the best thing to do. And then we'll, we'll talk about the, uh, the show that I watched tonight on Netflix, but, um, yeah, it's interesting. I got to figure out how to, how to get past this with myself. I think one of the interesting things is, is the getting more into the media and more into the the podcasting stuff that I do. And then obviously now I'm sort of making a few videos every night. But one of the things that I'm changing is I'm changing the group of people that I'm around. And so I'm now in more of that media film production type group. And a lot of those people are very thin and, you know, and that's okay in that group. So maybe that will maybe hanging around a group of people like that, that are a little bit more focused on that. See, I don't think that's healthy, though. I I just, it's like, I kind of wish I was like that, but then I don't, because I don't think that's healthy. Like, I mean, I've had friends and known people that were anorexic, men as well. And, um, and, And it's not a good thing. So I don't want to feel like I have to be that way. So this has turned into a big discussion about weight and body image, Um, even though that wasn't why I started this thing. It's becoming that way. Um, But anyway, uh, yeah. So we'll see. I mean, I'm doing fine. I'm not tempted to do anything crazy. I'm not going to get off the diet. I'm becoming more and more actually restrictive in what I do because I'm trying to break this sort of 
um, plateau that I'm on at the minute. So I'm, I'm severely cutting back. So I've cut back on the caffeine. I mean, maybe cutting back on the caffeine has had some effect. I don't know. I don't know if cutting back on the caffeine would should have any impact on how my how my weight loss might go. Or maybe I am just sort of offsetting the little bit of weight that I'm losing with a little bit of muscle gain from the from the little bit of work I'm doing in the gym. Could be that as well. So um, I'm not too worried about that yet. I mean, I'll, if I've gone a month and like basically haven't lost anything, then I'll start to wonder what's going on. But um, but I've done it before. It's not like I've, I haven't been below this weight. Like the last time I lost weight, I mean, I'm at 95, basically 95 kilos right now. And I got down, my lowest was 89. Uh, and that was just a couple of years ago. That was just before COVID. So it's only been a few years ago. So I'm sure I can do that again. It's not that I haven't got there. It's just I'm not, I'm certainly not working as hard, that's for sure. I was doing, you know, five, sometimes 10K a day, four days a week in the gym. And I'm just not doing that at the minute. But um, anyway, sorry, now I'm just waffling at the end of my thoughts. So I'll let everybody go. Um, but thanks for watching. And um, if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, please hit the button for me. And um, if you know anybody else that's on the diet and you think they might be interested, please let them know about it. And I will see you tomorrow when we'll talk about the film What the Health. So if you want to go check that out on Netflix before tomorrow, you can. But be warned, it's a vegan propaganda film. Anyway, um, I'll leave you with that thought and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.